We've got another Epic Hero Series figure today, and this is the Deluxe Darth Maul. Now, from what I can tell, this figure's basically exactly the same as the regular Darth Maul. Might have a different belt, but some different color, extra accessories. Think about this, this was 20 bucks. I could not believe it was 20 bucks. One figure and a couple extra accessories. You know, 20 bucks for the um, Moff Gideon Bo-Katan with extra accessories, okay. This is just extra accessories. I couldn't believe they went ahead and did 20 bucks, but we'll open up and take a look because I'm a crazy fool and I still bought it. So here he is out of the package. And yes, it is the exact same as the previous figure. It just has a different skirt on it, uh, which has a different belt. Everything else, legs, arms, head, all that. It's all the same mold. Even you can kind of see he's got little pockets for like cargo pants. Those are on the Phantom Menace version. They're just underneath the skirt. Clearly they were set this up. Now, interesting, you look at the card back, that is clearly Phantom Menace Darth Maul, but this is Clone Wars Darth Maul. Um, yeah, it's the same figure. I do like, you know, it's got a little belt and everything, but let's see. He comes with a couple accessories. Let's take a look. Though. So he comes with a big chunky lightsaber, um, which can be put together as to have the whole thing. It's one of the shortest blades that you're going to see, but it's exactly the same as what came with the previous one. It comes with this armor, which is very Clone Wars type armor we can put that it just kind of snaps on him here i think maybe come on get on there there he's a little doesn't quite look right but yeah he's got his armor on kind of nice little details in there actually Cool. Then he has a swishing effect for his lightsaber because you know it's a deluxe figure so we needed this right he can snap his lightsaber blade in there. We've actually had figures like this before. Was it uh, the 5POA in the mid-teens? Had stuff like this. I think I'm just going to put it in his hand. Looks like you could actually put there. It's kind of got a handle there. But yeah, I remember getting like a, an Ahsoka and several other figures that did that. So there you go. You can have him swooshing it. This is $20. Um, yeah, and this, and this is like... What, eight bucks? Twenty dollars. Is this worth twenty bucks? I don't think so. But uh, you know, crazy people like me gotta have it. So there you go. There's our Clone Wars Darth Maul Deluxe twenty dollars overpriced uh Epic Hero series figure.